Hello, my cutie patooties. It's Future Freaking Friday, and you know what that means. We are here with Dromopod. This is their song 22. And before we jump into all of the description stuff, I'm sick. Um, that is why I sound this way. So do not panic. I am not an imposter. I'm just a sick ray. <laughs> um, but all is well. We're on the upswing, which is good. Um, but back to the uh, the peeps of Future Friday. We have Joe on the vocals and the guitar. We have Jan on the backing vocals and the bass. We have Phil on the drums. Uh, this is a band that formed in 2019 in Germany. And uh, before we jump into the video, just a friendly reminder to please like and subscribe. All of this information, as well as some more about their links and things like that, will be posted down in the description as per usual, so go check them out for yourselves. But let's jump into this music reaction. So that was a really nice way to um, come into the song. I mean, we're two minutes in already. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we're two minutes in already. And that was a nice and steady um, instrumental section of the song. Um, and it's I, I really liked it. I, I quite liked it. I quite liked it. And um, now we're getting into the section where the uh, we are going to have uh, the lyrics and the singing of the vocals, obviously, because we're getting into that right now. Um, but uh, I just I just wanted I just wanted to note that um, not obviously not every song needs to have a long intro, but um, sometimes it's 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 quite nice when they do. Um, it kind of slowly eases you into the song itself. Uh, but let's see where they go from here. Sky turns black with them on in a sight as the world falls into eternal night. The stars fade away like a distant memory, leaving us to fade. This is making me feel like there's gonna be a big drop at some point. Ooh. 
I do have to say the guitar in this is really great. It's just so smooth from section to section and the guitar pieces. The guitar sections, um, so good. Consumes us as we wander lost. It's a cool guitar though. This one here with all the swirls. I don't know if there's color to it because the whole video is in black and white, but it looks cool. As we search for me in this hollow dream. Okay, one thing I do want to say, it's interesting because the, the the lyrics themselves, or not the lyrics, but the, the vocals themselves are very, um, do, 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 something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but they take that and then they kind of just repeat it throughout. Um, and then... <clears throat> In this section here, I don't know why I, I don't know why I take my glasses off when I'm like I need to see this. Meaning all analytical. Um uh when they went for um as we search for meaning, the vocals changed. They went um up and more of a belt as well. Um and I think the blankness echoes, the blankness echoes, I think the echoes part, he also went up, which was different from the first verse, but um <clears throat> I just wanted to say that it's interesting because it's all very, uh, the sound, the, the sound of it is very repetitive. Um, and it kind of creates this, um, like you have the metal aspect, but it almost cr brings in this, uh, indie kind of feeling the, of just like the steadiness and the rolling of, the, the vocals and the lyrics and then you have those moments where you bring in the metal and it's um it's great honestly like even if they didn't have like the lyrics and the vocals like that's it's it's a nice um thing to add to the song but I do want to say that I feel like even if they didn't have it it would still sound great because the guitar is just it's great I, 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 I quite like it. It's just got this, I always say rolling rhythm to it. It's just got, I don't know. It's just, it just sounds good. It's pleasing to my ear holes. Um, so, but, um, not to like negate any of the, the vocals or the lyrics or anything like that. Um, they definitely add to the music, but uh, I'm just saying like, even if they didn't have that, I think it, the song would still sound pretty dope. Um, the song, the v lyrics do talk about like the void consumes us as we wander lost in a world devoid of what matters most. The blankness echoes with a silent scream as we search for meeting in this hollow dream. Um, it definitely, and I mean, in the verse before it says, leaving us to face a world full of misery. So it's definitely a very, um, sad song that it really sounds like, um, I mean, I feel like everyone kind of searches for it their meaning in life, um, their purpose, things like that, um, the, what they dream to do, um, and is it something that can be a reality, you know, um, and I kind of feel like that, you know, like the stars fade away, like a distant memory, you know, like wishing upon a star, thinking of your dreams kind of thing, um, so it is, it is sad, um, in this kind of, purgatory-ish type state of um searching for meaning in this hollow dream as they say but let's continue turns up the lyrics or the vocals Oh, 
That's a really sad lyric. It's true. We do have no control. We can think we do, but we ultimately don't. <laughs> switch but they're switching it up Maybe that was layered in or something. I was like, wait, I'm like, there's one more section. I'm like, where did it go? Sorry, I probably shouldn't smack my computer. Um, these are my little arm thingy, my bobs. Here, I'll put them down. Um, is there more to, oh, I guess like, uh, so it says, is there more to life than what we see or are we just lost in a fantasy? We search for truth that lies within, but it remains just out of reach again. Um, bonk. It is in brackets, though. So it either might be, like, layered in or something of the such. But anyways, um, that was an interesting journey. Uh, I have to say my favorite thing about it was the guitar. I think it, that was that was very fun. Um, the lyrics. Um, why can't we see that there's nothing we, c we control? I'm like, straight up, true facts. Um, we don't have control. <laughs> Um, and there was an interesting quote that I heard one time, and I probably said it on here before, but, uh, anxiety, so, not all anxiety, obviously, but, um, anxiety is, like, a product of trying to have control over something we have no control over. Um, and, uh, again, not all anxiety, um, just in specific situations. And I'm like, yo, that really blew my mind because uh, I was just like, I never really looked at it that way because I would have like, I, 
there would be things that were completely out of my control, but I was so worried and anxious and just like spiraling over something I have no control over. Um, and, but sitting in the fact that I have no control over it was also equally terrifying. So, um, it's kind of a double-edged sword in that sense, but I really like that quote. And I also like, I try to fight the urge of leaving way too soon. It's really sad. Um, and I've never really heard it put that way in a lyric. Um, so that kind of caught my eye as well. Uh, but thank you guys so much for sharing this with me and with the channel. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, apologies of my sounding a little uh, cray cray. Um, I caught the sickness. Uh, but again, yeah, thank you guys so much for sharing. Uh, for those of you who watched this, if you want to check out more by Dromopod, please go check down in the description. That's where I put all of the information um, that I kind of talk about in the intro of the video and uh, check them out for yourselves. So thank you guys so much. Um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see all of you in the next one. Bye.